McKean Sports Connections Men and Women's Tennis Preview. To my left is Coach Scott Tielke, Head Coach of Men's and Women's Tennis. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Jumping right into things, Paul Bergen, one of Kenyon's best of all time tennis players, has, is now gone. And Michael Razumovsky is now sure to move into the number one spot. But how are you going to fill up the rest of the lineup? Well, I think uh, obviously replacing Paul is, is going to be a, a difficult uh, task. Um, but we have, uh, we have good... We have good people uh, in the program right now. Michael Razumovsky obviously has made it to the semifinals of individuals and also made it to the uh, quarterfinals of individuals. Um, so he can step into that into that role and, and do well for us. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up Wade Hareboth. Uh, Wade can also step in and, and really fill the shoes of, of Paul if we need him to do so. So between the two of them, we'll still have, I believe, one of the best one-two punches in the country uh, this year. And one of the major weaknesses of the men's team last year was kind of doubles play and trying to find some chemistry and some combos. Uh, with some new faces in, some few guys that have left, is there any pairs that are really working, um, working up well to shape out together? Uh, yeah, we actually, uh, you know, you always you always think about doubles combinations and how well will they work for a four month period of time and and sometimes they they do work uh, like Kevin Yee and and Wade Hareboth last year worked out really well. Uh, the really nice thing we have is that we have uh, we have Tim Rosensteel who has come in at the end of uh, last season and at the end of the 2012 season uh, and played with two different partners. Uh, and Tim finished up ranked nationally in the top 20 as a doubles player uh, both of those years. So uh, we have him back uh, right now playing with Sam Geyer. Um, and uh, Sam has really come along as well. And so that's one of our good combinations. And then uh, Wade Hareboth and, and uh, Michael Razumovsky uh, are right now are playing well together. So that's another combination that we have uh, that will work. And then... You know, finding a third combination, we have not done that yet, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get something worked out soon. And uh, getting Tristan K back, uh, he's right now he has a mono, and so he's not able to, to play right now. He'll, he'll be a big factor at number three doubles, though. That magical third combo is always hard to find sometimes. Always. And you mentioned Sam Geyer, and he had an incredible fall season, including the ITA Regional Championship and finished fourth at the Small College Championships. Can we kind of expect that sort of success to continue in the spring? Uh, I certainly hope so. Um, that's that's going to be up to Sam, but uh, he's playing really well right now, uh, and he played really well in the fall, obviously. Um, you know, to have a guy that uh, is ranked, you know, four in the country, uh, and you're not sure if he's going to play number one for you uh, is a good problem to have um, because he definitely uh, could play number one probably at – the majority of schools in the country. So for us, you know, for him, you know, maybe being able to play number one for us is a possibility. Uh, he could be at number two, he could be at number three. Uh, and so, you know, we're looking real good at the, at the top with Sam and um, he's, he's quite the player and has a lot of firepower. I'm sure all the other teams in the conference right now are kind of shaking a little bit going, wait a second, he's not going to be at number one? they got two guys that are better than him, maybe? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, I, the really interesting thing about all of them is that their, their style of play is so different. So to say one of them is better than the other is really kind of hard to do because it, it, their styles of play are completely different from uh, each other. Uh, and so who can beat who may depend on the day and... Uh, it may depend on whether Sam Geyer can hit 130 mile an hour serves for two and a half hours. If he can do that, then he's the number one guy. So well, that's a pretty good serve. I'll definitely say yeah, that. That's for sure. So now your freshman hat class had a pretty good fall season. They did. And what are you expecting from each of them individually in the spring? Um, certainly, we could we could see uh, uh, at least one freshman, maybe two freshmen playing as early as this weekend. Uh, especially with, with Tristan K being out. So uh, the freshmen, it's a, it's a good freshman class. They've got a tough job to try to break into the starting lineup with everybody that we have coming back. But uh, I think that uh, I think the freshmen, will, they'll end up helping us this year. Are there any particular ones you got your eye on? 
Well, I think, uh, you know, right now, uh, Nick Fiaschetti is playing really well uh, going through the challenge matches so far. Uh, he's sort of put himself as the, the top freshman right now. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike Roberts uh, played really well so far this year. He, he was out in the fall with mono, so we really didn't know how good he was going to be. Um, and so he, he's playing well. Uh, and then obviously uh, we have um, two other freshmen that, that have played really well for us. Uh, and, and so I, I think, you know, how well the, the freshman class does for us could be a factor this year. Um, but, you know, I'm not 100% sure that, uh, that any of the freshmen will be in the starting lineup. But right now they've sort of placed themselves there. Well, at finishing this last season ranked number five, the Lords are getting ready for this spring play. Sam Geyer is ranked number one individually, and they open their season February 9th at home against the University of Chicago. This has been the Men's Tennis Preview, brought to you by the Kenyan Sports Connection. Coach Tealkey, thank you for joining us, and for all the fans, come back soon for the Women's Tennis Preview, as well as the rest of the preview for the late winter and spring sports. For the Kenyan Sports Connection, I'm Matthew Roscoe.